friends welcome to this session on python list here i have a task for you so let us consider this example say list which have seven items in the list all are integer values i i am having multiple tasks for you based on this list so your first task will be to create a function to return sum of all the element in this list so you need to create a function to find out sum of all the elements. So let's suppose if you have seven elements, it should find out the sum of all those seven elements and it should return their sum in the end. And for this, you can pass a list as a parameter and it will return sum as output. In second case, again, I wish to have a function which will return the count of all the element in the list. So the second task will be to create a count function. You need to pass a list to this and in the end it will return the count of elements in the list. In this case it should return 7 because there are 7 elements in the list. The third task will be to create a average function. You need to pass a list and it should return average of all the elements in the list. You know that average is equal to sum of all the elements divided by count of all the elements. Since we already have a function for sum of elements, count of elements, so you can make use of these functions in final third average function and uh, it should return average of the list. So again, in this average function, you need to pass a list and it should return its uh, average value. So these are the three functions which you need to create. And uh, it's important that you should perform all these tasks without using any inbuilt function. So in list we also have an inbuilt function to find sum and count but for this assignment it is not allowed to use these inbuilt functions actually you need to create your own functions which can perform the same task as inbuilt function one to find out the length of the list or count of all the elements and second is to find out the sum of all the elements in the list i also wish to mention that you need to take care of a situation when list is empty so for example, if you pass a list which is blank, then the length of the list will be zero. And if the length of the list is zero and you try to divide this to find out the average, so it will return zero divide error. So you need to take care about this error and try to handle this situation so that this runtime error zero divide should not occur if list is blank. So your code should take care about this situation and it should return appropriate message or it should return false if your list is blank. But if your list have few values, then it can find out its uh, average, sum, count, and so on. So this is the task, and I hope you can do this task very easily. So take your time, try to create all these three functions. And I also wish to give you one more hint that we have a simple for loop which help you to access all the items in the list. For example, if I use for item in sales, print item, this will help me to extract each element in the list. So you can see that the output is 54 and 76. So I'm able to access each element by using this for loop. So you need to use this for loop uh, in order to solve all the tasks. So take your time and I will see you in next session with the solution of this problem. But I request you to solve this on your own before watching the final solution. See you next session. God bless you. Bye-bye.